and, and tabama in sync shama you notice so ah eh so this is what it got eh, yes i was i was that was my era backstreet boys you know what i'm saying 3 lw you know what i'm saying i believe sugar babes was in around obviously they're english so i'm not english ones not white in here so there's, there's um sugar babes there's spice girls spice girls were even i think probably a bit just before these ones but in general i'm just i'm just lumping them one into britney spears Christina Aguilera, um, Black Ivory. You guys, if you guys don't know these people, like Black Ivory, who else? Bewitched. Um, yeah, I'm just naming a lot of like, Bewitched were like an Irish type group, actually, if I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, Christina Milian. I, 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 I think I have something for the Christinas. But anyway, yeah, like, beautiful Black Queens. I'm a paraphrase. A lot of you were on B2K. We know the members. So, brandy all over again. When I see, I'm saying when I see this type of, you know. Um, Pop, you know what I'm saying, like popular type, branded type. These guys have this feel. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Said I'm back with another one. Guys, I'm back with another one. I'm back with another review. This one, right, I was on. So let me just give you context. I was on Insta, you know, as I am with my sad life. And um, I saw some, I saw some people dancing to some track. I don't know what the track was, but I saw them dancing as by usual. The track kind of sounded fire. So I was thinking to myself, all right, cool. Let me just quickly just, you know, check out the track from what people dancing from. And I found out, you know, the artist basically, I found the artist page and realized I'm only there. The members of Maven Records. So I actually liked that first track that I heard. So I'm like, you know what, let me go check them out. And then I found, you know what I'm saying, that they are signed to Maven Records, obviously, like I said. Uh, the name is DNA because I like the first track. I was like, let me let me go to the YouTube now. Just check them out, check their profile out. Before I start, actually, before I even go, and and because I want to completely start for you guys to see where my journey has come from, so how I've landed here, right? Because it's very important. So for those that just want the review, you just want the review, right? Check in my description below. I am going to just I'll post the time code for you just to skip this nonsense. I'm about to just go on a on a tirade talking talking about what I feel is important. For artists to you know become known or become established artists of today which is very important so I, that's what i'm going to talk about now so if you don't want to listen to this nonsense you know stuff i'm about to just say here you can just just skip echo skip bye bye yeah, i am um, once i checked them out on the youtube here yeah, what i what i noticed was that um they did like an interview in it where they were both to the main they both sat down and introduced themselves right all right cool and that's one thing i want to touch on basically so what i liked about so this dna group you're know saying i like i like what i'm seeing i went to the um youtube i was like okay cool this is nice this is nice they started they started to personality is a, is a big thing right just to put that one out here you know, for free it's important for you to show who you are basically right now this is not the olden days unfortunately where i will i will i will, I will now go on to show my age it's not the olden days of like the you know in sync and it's about in sync you notice so ah eh. so this is what it got eh. yes i was i was that was my era backstreet boys you know what i'm saying the ones that would just walk after them as well so i want to talk about after i want you know so for example i want um 3lw you know what i'm saying i believe sugar babes was in around obviously they're english so i'm not english ones not white in here so there's, there's um sugar babes there's spice girls spice girls are, even I think probably a bit just before these ones, but in general I'm just I'm just lumping them one into I'm lumping all of them into the whole, you know, nineties and early two thousand type Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. I I want I want to carry the ones that are too young. What you are hearing me say right now is clearly just foreign language to you. When I'm saying Britney Spears, uh, Christina Aguilera, NSYNC, uh, Bashi Boys, you're just hearing Chinese, right? Yes, because you you can't you uh, see you don't know you don't know. When you are dealing with somebody like myself, I my my catalogue of music is quite steep. I, I, I you know what I'm saying I, I I know not only that I know them people, I now know this Gemini. So you see how I'm linking with your generation, but I, at the same time I can still talk back experience for you, baby. Learn. But what I'm trying to say is that you know this artists back then will go on promo runs. That was very important. You get me? Like people, people, you didn't have people are going promo runs, but you did, artists didn't have to do this stuff back in the day. I don't feel. I feel like uh, you could just labels like for example maven i'm just saying obviously um ones that were signed then were signed to people like interscope and rca whatever but let's just say maven for now they necessarily yes they do have, they have to help the artists promote but they don't necessarily have to do it it's not it's not like you know something that it is paramount that the, um, the label has to promote them no artists it's really up to them now there was times when you can like i'm saying if i go back again people like you know black ivory you guys if you guys don't know these people like black ivory who else bewitched 
um, do you know what I'm just naming a lot of like Bewitched were like an Irish type group actually if I believe if I'm not mistaken so but this is like, like I said I'm just I'm just I'm just naming random people for you just for you to realize you know what I'm saying the amount of people that have been out but this is what this DNA group reminded me of you know what I'm saying was them you get me like not in terms of sound but just in terms of you know style and you know we I know we are to you guys we are old now you know we are old you know old timers like what do they know about you know crushing and you know MCM yeah or uh, WCW you know saying the my man crush Monday or women crush Wednesday or crush Chris crush that like, I want to let you in on a secret uh, uh, we were also very young we were young as well just I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know if you didn't know that just let me know that we were young and um, we had the same secret crushes on people like me personally I was you know I liked Christina Aguilera was a you know I, I was hey I just like Christina Aguilera then you know I started to like uh, Christina Milian I, 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 I think I have something for the Christinas but anyway I want to know I want to like going here so you know we all have them feelings of, oh I love you I want to be with you you are my wifey come and marry me please crying at night we've all been there I just want to let you know that so you guys are now in that situation right now right but you have to think it to yourselves oh my gosh I love these people whatever I can I'm now seeing how the women that's uh, you know of age right now that's what in love with the you know younger guys when they were young you know younger groups they were just fanning over them for example my beautiful black queens I'm a powerful I a lot of you were on B2K we know the members so and that was our era I'm just trying to let you know that this is not something new you know this is why I'm talking on this specific subject because these guys are giving me that feeling of you know 90s type you know feels in general you know what I'm saying the sound is you know it's just new it's afro sound you get me but the feeling is still the same for me it's like I'm seeing I'm seeing you know brandy all over again when I see you know, saying when I see this type of you know um I don't want to I want to say like type of pop you know what I'm saying like popular type you know what I'm saying like branded type you know what I'm saying these guys have this feel and that brings it all the way back around to what I was trying to say which I wasted so much time I'm so sorry I have to just I had to brand I had to rant and then I like it please open the door shut remove yourself from my platform thank you bye DNA I love the fact that you know they were just talking and they were and we got to know them they were talking about how you know you know their new project called Gemini right um, I, I watched the video so this is why I can, I can quote on what they were saying they were saying stuff like I believe they are you know they are actually so first off Gemini means something specifically uh, was it Dr. Sid let's so, uh, it's been a few days that I watched it but I believe you said Dr. Sid was the one to help you come up with the name because not only are you guys you, you are twins on top of that you are born June's clinical she's 26 let's so I'm just being if you are thinking yourself, how this guy is getting us so he's getting us so perfectly. I, I'm I'm going off my memory. But if I if, if I was right, what can I say? I have good memory. But you said say June, Gabi, July. What, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You said you are Gemini babies. So that's why you named the project that. All the stuff you just saying, I was just there looking and just kind of just, you know, I guess looking at you from my branded eyes. Like how you know, how would it, how would you know the, the the generation of young people take to these guys? And I believe it me being a person that's you know I'm, I'm a discerning gentleman you like that word there discerning man so i feel as do other people will like you as well you know i think you guys have that you have that sociability that likability factor you know what i'm saying um you seem quite warming souls and because of that i feel like you're gonna do well and that's what led me all the way back to now which is why i want to review your stuff you get me so um you know just when you guys become you know when you realize you're ah we are we made it onto the same platform, don't worry, you know, it's just, I like to help, you know, or that, you know, I like to help people just, you know, get to where they want to get to, so, you know, I mean, I've, I've helped people that, you know, I won't want to sing, I won't, like, we do, I tell this kid, well, well, really, that worked for me, but, I remember when I, I, I helped with, back in 2007, Timo, really, thank you, anything, man, so, I wonder why, anyway, sorry, um, so, DNA, am I worried? Shema. When 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 the ladies start falling for you, falling over for you, you know, I remember that ah, since he posted us, so ah, he he used his million subscribers and you know millions of followers on Insta and Twitter. Is the reason why these all these ladies now are running to our running to our channel, you know, saying that oh we love you DNA, we want to marry you. You're my favorite. I love you so much DNA that your blood runs to my own DNA. You. Just remember who brought that type of ludicrous to your platform. So don't worry about it, you know. I'm a nice guy. How can I say, you know? Don't thank me now. Just drink it, you get me? Thank me later. But guys, listen. 
long rant i just want to just decipher why i'm thinking the way i'm thinking and why i decided to come to these guys which are, are relatively unknown to me anyway people clearly know them they have a good following themselves but my million subscribers like you can see i'm i'm now showcasing you know dna to my platform of you know legions of of, of supporters because um I like them. I clearly like them. I like what Maven is doing as a record label in general. Cotton Shades is, I think, is they're going in the right direction of, you know, they've already had the established people that I believe there was a time, you know, big powerhouses like Tiwa was there, you know, that's just one, you know what I'm saying? But now they're bringing in, you know, more newer people like, you know, obviously they have the, the boy Wonder Ryan and Rema, um, which I've interviewed already. You know, that you have seen that one, don't worry. Um, and now they have, you know, DNA. So they're just trying to build a roster of, like, I like it. I like, ah, I'm here to listen. <sighs> just uh, let me talk to, as you can say, everybody, the owner, so. Um, Mr. Don Jazz, big man, or guy at the top. Um, just want to let him know, you know, if you ever need, you know, a spokesperson, somebody that is good at, you know, promo and do more, yeah, share more. I holler at your boy. Ah, we do this thing. I to manage your reaction videos. I be marketing in general. You are looking at the guy. Anyway, back to this, let's go, let's go.